Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I'm all about inspiring you to get outside and get happy. And today, I'm back at our remote property in the UP of Michigan. Now, I have some big work ahead of me and it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot for days. I got my canoe with me. I gotta get it to the lake. The lake's about a mile away down a trail. I gotta cut a trail down to the lake so I can get my canoe in. And I brought a check valve for the well. So I can get that pump primed and keep the prime. So I'm gonna be working on that too. I got lots of work to do and it's just gonna be hot and it's gonna be buggy. So I got a bug shirt with me. I gotta fire up the chainsaw. I'm gonna have a few sips of coffee. Um, it's hard to chill out because there's a lot of bugs, but I'm gonna have a few sips of coffee and just get to work because it's getting, it's hot already. And I wanna get on the lake, baby! And I have a special guest today. Wait for it, you're gonna like her. Look who the special guest is. Daisy girl, yes, Maisie Daisy is here with me. Hi there, baby. We're gonna get to the lake. We're gonna go canoeing and swimming, but first I gotta cut the trail. And I'm gonna get my bug shirt on. Get ready to go. So check it out, this is my bug shirt. It is just uh, all mesh on the sides. And then I've got this hood <clears throat> that can come up and then you can adjust the back and zipper it all up if I need to. They just get so bad around here. So bit up last night, had a bunch of noceums last night, and black flies, and I'm just welts all the way around my neck and my head. A lot of times I get questions about safety, and so I'm out here by myself. Dave is actually in Alaska now, and I wasn't able to join him yet because of my crazy schedule and commitments here in Michigan, so I'm not there yet. I'm out here by myself using a chainsaw. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I know how to run a chainsaw. I'm very careful. I'm even more aware when I'm by myself because I know there is no one but myself to take care of me. So um, I do carry, right now I've got a GPS emergency uh, beacon on me. This is a Garmin inReach and what it does is it's a satellite device because I have no cell signal out here. There is, right here on our property, I can get a cell signal from Verizon. Uh, but you move off the property and it's gone. And my phone is dead right now. So I'm gonna be using my, my GPS. It has like an SOS button on it. So if I was to press this, if I was in serious trouble, it would activate like search and rescue. The other thing is self-protection. I usually carry uh, a revolver or bear spray or both or a shotgun, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna be running the chainsaw. As far as safety gear, when I'm running a chainsaw, I usually just wear gloves. I've never wore chaps. I've never wore ear protection, though I should. I know I should wear ear protection, but I am gonna put my sunglasses on to protect my eyes, so I'm gonna go do that. As far as running a chainsaw, I get endless comments uh, when I, whenever I run the chainsaw, so I'm not gonna do it a lot right here because I just get so sick of it. I've been running chainsaws for over 20 years. That doesn't mean an accident can't happen, but it means I know what I'm doing. It means I know how to handle a chainsaw, especially when I'm by myself, I'm extra careful because I know there is no backup, so. Let's go cut open a trail. Come on, Daisy. So, good news is Looks like somebody has come through here, at least to this point, and uh, opened it up. So I might not have as much work as I thought. It's great. Because it is hot already. Oh man, that hemlock smells so good. Maisie is having an absolute blast chasing every squirrel she sees out here. Not bad, not bad. She's gonna wear herself out. She's already muddy. <laughs> Are you having fun, baby? Oh, they're mocking you. That's a good girl, you're so dirty. Can they cut that off? All right, guys, it is so hot. Camera died while I was out there. I didn't really have much to cut. I just cut some stuff up the driveway that needed to be cut out. And it's just, I, can't, I don't do good in heat. Bugs are getting me, oh, check this out. I brought a deer fly patch with me, put it on this hat. So those suckers land right there. They're gonna go 
you're gonna be stuck. So I gotta get this canoe off, and it's just, oh, it's so hot. Maisie's dying in the shade over there. I mean, it's only 11. Holy cow, I'm dying. I'm gonna get this canoe off, maybe we'll go find some water to play in, because I'm, I'm not dragging this canoe down there right now and a mile to the lake and battling the bugs right now. I just can't do it. So I brought up this old Grumman, 17 footer, Pretty huge. Only bad thing is it gets super hot in the sun. So uh, I'm gonna get this down and then it'll be rigged up with my cart to take it down to the lake. Voila. Good thing about this boat is there'd be a lot of room for Maisie in there. That's done. So I gotta be honest, I just sat in here in my underwear for a while. <laughs> Having some chips and salsa, some tuna fish, hot buffalo style. Trying to cool down. The humidity's gotta be super high. I'm just sweating doing nothing. I definitely don't feel like cooking anything. I forgot silverware and I found this on the floor of my truck. <laughs> yes, so I do have something. A spork. It's a sit around in your underwear kind of day. <laughs> and do nothing. Definitely too hot for running the chainsaw. Glad that's over. But I still have to get the canoe to the lake. So I'm either going to do it first thing tomorrow morning or late tonight, but it's got to cool down. Well guys, I pretty much uh, screwed around today. Went and visited some friends and hung out with them, had a burger at their campfire. It was nice, it was just too hot to do any kind of substantial work. Oh, all the way around me, I'm just bit up, black flies just have welted my face, just chewed me up. It's itching. So you know, I brought in some new mulch for in front of the tent, which I never put any. I need to do some well work. I need to put the check valve on the well. So I'm gonna do something right now. I got a nice fire, but I'm gonna get a little something done. I think it'll look nice. I don't know, didn't do much. <laughs> First thing I need to do is see if I can unscrew this. Yes. Yes, I can. All right. Now I've got this drive coupler. This is going to go on top of here. This is going to protect the threads. I need to go down about six inches. I'm just going to use the sledge. It's about here on me. I'm doing this because once I put the check valve in and then another piece of pipe, it's going to bring it up about six inches. So I need to drop it and it's going down. Oh, it is still really warm out here. Where are we at? That may be another inch or two. Okay. That's probably good. Take that off. Now I need to uh, dope up these threads with the uh, pipe compound, and then I'm going to add this check valve. That looks good. Now, the check valve goes on. <coughs> okay, I'm going to say that's good. Now I've got this piece. 
this is kind of like what marries everything. Let me show you what that's gonna do. So this is how the check valve works, right there. It's gonna be able to hold the prime. When you're pumping it, it's like that. When you prime it, boop, it stays up. And the pump up here will stay primed. Sweet. Daisy's keeping watch. Hi, baby. All right, now I need to dope up the pipe both sides of these threads. So this side first. What this stuff does is just give a good seal between everything so you don't have any air leaks. Okay, so that is going to go in like this. And I need my gloves because I've cut myself on those threads before. Okay, call that good. Now, dope up the next piece, next part, and then we can put the pump on, see if this thing is gonna do its thing. See if I can get water before it gets too dark. All right, now, for the pump. Okay, chuck valve is in, it's open. Let's see if we can get water. This is the moment of truth. Ooh, I'm getting so bit up. All right. So what I gotta do is pour water in here. Let's get rid of that cap. Fill this. Let's see what we got. Leathers might be kind of dry. It's just going out. I need to let those leathers soak up a little. I'm running out of water. Yeah, I kind of have a feeling that the leathers are dry. I'm running out of water. Yeah, shoot. Out of water. I think I'm just going to fill it up like that for a minute. Just let the... Oh, shoot. Let those leathers soak. Kind of guessing that's the problem here. Eating alive. <sighs> Thought I just heard something. Man, it's getting dark quick. Love to see this water going before dark. Might have to wait till tomorrow. I might have to go get me some more water somewhere. The cranes. Ooh, it's hard to stand still. Ooh, biting my butt. <laughs> oh boy. We're in a tank top. I need a new round of bug spray to stand here. Stayin' alive, stayin' alive, ah, 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 stayin' alive, ah, oh, oh, yeah! What do you think, Daisy? Uh, you can tell by the way I make my wall, ba da 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 no time to talk. We go da 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 we can't sing, we can't get this water to go. Na 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 Stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Na 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 na, I don't know the words, just stayin' alive, stayin' alive. We say, ha, 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 ha. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You got it, come on. 
Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, I hear it coming. Come on. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, lost the prime. Oh, here it comes, it's back. Come on. Yes, yeah. Woohoo! We got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> yes. All right. Hello, sweet water. It's a little, uh, little cloudy because I did punch it down another six inches. So this is awesome. Now. That should hold the prime. I'm gonna check my camera. All right, I just went and got a little light. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now this is pretty cloudy. Now, I should have it right back. Yes. Look at that. Look at that beautiful water. Oh, that is awesome. It's got to work through some of that new dirt I pounded through. Awesome. So then, boop, should be good for the morning. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome. Good day. It's a good day. You know guys, I think it's gonna be a full moon tonight. Or maybe it's tomorrow, but it's coming up soon. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, my neck and my head, and my, I'm just like welt city. Whew. It's hard to sit still. So I just checked this and we're still good to go on the prime. So the check valve totally worked. And some water to warm up right now so I can get cleaned up tonight. I am so sticky and yucky. Hour and a half held the prime just fine. So it's super cool. Crystal clear water now. Check valve it, good to go. Put this water on the fire. Getting some brush burnt up tonight too. Adds a nice flair to the fire. And it gets the brush gone, you just burn a little piece at a time. Stuff that we've cut, just hemlock. I just don't feel like going to bed. I feel like sitting here by the fire, so just burning stuff as I go. It's just a dead, still, calm night. I mean, there is no sound. I see the moon through the trees over there. It's nearly full moon, but it's just nice to sit here, chill. Well, not chill, it's pretty warm yet. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. Well guys, good morning. I woke up at 6.30 and I was like, oh, it's nice and cool, I should get that canoe to the lake. I was too tired, so it's nine o'clock now. But I want to test this real quick before I get going on the, getting the canoe to the lake. Let's see if my prime held overnight. Save that water just in case. All right, open her up. Yes, yes, that's fantastic. So check valve works amazing. And um, last night, just that dark middle of the night, I'm pumping water. So it's actually pretty clear now. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. So I'm gonna load up the canoe on my car and start heading to the lake.
so this is my homemade um, canoe cart and I made it out of a one of those old golf caddy golf bag caddy type things switched out the tires and that's what I'm gonna use to take this canoe down so yeah here we go I'm gonna get my strap I don't know this is a big canoe I really don't know if this is gonna work with this big canoe I had the Radisson last time which is just a tiny little thing this thing's 17 feet so anyway we'll we'll make it work see how it goes Probably as much weight as this little cart hold. This is obviously a very, very pro operation. That'll do it. Okay, here we go. This is not a good spot. I think I just need to walk through it. The ruts aren't too deep. Just gonna get my feet wet here, that's all. Oh, oh I hope I don't lose this. Oh, hey, okay, I'm out of the water. Get through the wet spot. struggling. Had a pretty catastrophic failure on the cart and uh, it just, one of the supporting limbs broke. So I'm fighting to keep it rolling down the trail. Every bump, everything throws the whole canoe off. It's probably 80 plus and humid bugs are bad and I'm just trying to get it to the lake man just got to get this thing to the lake and it'll all be good I'm gonna jump in that water like nobody's business this is tough this is a tough moment I just want to be there really sucky and really hard Maisie's 
hot, I'm hot. Oh. Done. <sighs> Cannot keep this thing on the wheels. Oh man. I feel like I'm getting sick. Oh, I gotta get to water for both me and Maisie. And I'm just. We should just walk ahead and jump in the water for now because it's this is insane. That's working though. Look at that. Glad I switched hats. This thing is just a complete catastrophe with the wheels right now. Every little bump. The wheels. It's completely broken. Struggle. I go 50 feet and I gotta throw it back on the wheels. Makes me wonder if I'd just be better off dragging the thing. That sounds pretty awful too. Oh man, I'm dying here. It. That's it on the wheels. It will not go anymore. Oh. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. I have nothing left. Maisie's wearing a coat. So, I gotta get her to the water. That's what you needed. Can I help the baby? Can I help? Oh. oh, you got deer flies on you. Okay. You gotta head back because it's supposed to be my aunt and uncle. Oh, kind of under a deadline, which is dumb. Here, let's get that out. We gotta get back to camp. Get the canoe later. Here, get your ears.
Good news is, the canoe is three quarters of the way there. Bad news is, it's three quarters of the way there. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is so satisfying. Oh man, I'm dying. I gotta get some shorts on, I gotta get some water. Get Maisie some water. Come here, Maze. Maisie. Come here, girl. Come here. So guys, I am, uh, whew, I've been laying here a couple hours with Maisie. She just went outside because she heard a squirrel. But I just got completely wiped out by the heat today and the bugs. My earlier escapade down to uh, try to get my canoe to the lake. I just feel, uh, I cannot do heat. I can't do the heat. It's so bad. So I was just in, I just been laying low for a couple of hours. Got to visit with my aunt and uncle today and it was really enjoyable, but the heat, I just, it just put me down. So, I'm trying to recover. It's been, uh, you know, the bugs here are pretty relentless. I've just, black flies this trip are just, they've just, they're just chewing my face apart in uh, my neck and behind my ears, it's just, it's just nothing but welts and bumps. So it's just hard to get comfortable on this trip. It's just the heat, the heat and the bugs have just about done me in. But it's especially the heat. I mean, I could, I can deal with bugs, but man, oh man, almost seven o'clock at night. I feel like I'm just able to be outside because of the shade, but there's like no wind happening. Right here, I'm lighting this this pick. This is, uh, we call it pick in Alaska. Just those burnable mosquito coils. So I'm going to get a couple of those going in the area. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of thermocells, but these are like a butane powered bug repellent and they really do work for at least mosquitoes. So I'm getting both those going. Uh, cause I just really want to sit outside right now. The tent is good because it's, um, you know, got the screens for the bugs, but man, there's just not a lot of air movement. There's not a lot of air movement out here, but it's even worse in the tent. So, I'll let this, hopefully a couple of these things get going and it'll help. Something's got to give because I definitely am wore out from this today. Just that, that trip earlier was just too much for the heat going on. But you know what else, guys? You know what else I'm gonna light besides this? Fireworks. Cause it's 4th of July. Yeah. Gonna have a celebration. Maisie is sitting here in the, the cool sand. She took a nap with me in there too. It's so hot, ain't it, baby? Yeah. Well, the only thing I have ambition for is sitting still. So I thought I'd do a little whittling. Check it out. I'm going to try to do this little rooster. I love this tool. This is uh, this was sent to me from a company called uh, Beavercraft. They have some really great carving tools and, and uh, I'm only using this one. Uh, for this project and it just it fits it just fits in my hand so nicely I just love it I'm just I'm sweating just sitting here it's eight o'clock my neck is just drenched <laughs> it's so warm I can't believe it 
This ain't bad though. Just sitting here carving. That's pretty fun. I've had like no appetite. The heat just makes me not very hungry, but I've got a Reuben I think I'm gonna do in a little bit here. That would be pretty tasty. Let's see how my rooster turns out. I have totally messed up the head of this rooster. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> I cut off the beak and the head just looks just stupid. So I think I'm gonna just chop its head off. It's a little too tall anyway, so I'm gonna start over, but I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna make a sandwich. I just chopped its head off. Looks a little more proportioned anyway, so. All right guys, it's time for a Reuben. You know I love Frank's sauerkraut, it's my favorite, so I'll just have a little bite to get started. Mm. Warming up the kraut and the corned beef just helps the uh, sandwich come together a lot quicker. Man, I think I'm running out of fuel. Oh no, this is so quick and easy. I kind of don't want to use the Coleman. Darn it. Oh, that stinks. Back in business. I'm gonna butter both sides of these first so that it'll be all buttery goodness when I flip it over. Now we're gonna build on that. Swiss cheese, hot corned beef. No, I like I like a twist. I like Russian dressing on mine. So it, it, it gives it just a little more tart and tangy flavor. I like it. I, I mean, Thousand Islands okay. But Russian is is where it's at. And then top it off. Perfect. Even. Yes. Look at that. Mmm. Delicious. Doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. Great. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this summer day, sunshine, my health. I thank you for my dog. Thank you for this wonderful sandwich. I thank you that days like this remind us how much winter is not so bad. <laughs> thank you for this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, Reuben's on a Coleman stove in the wilderness. Mmm. I'm so sorry. Here, have a bite. There you go. Go ahead, take a bite. <laughs> so good. Mm. So my plan for tonight is to maybe have a short campfire, shoot off my fireworks and go to bed. So I can get up early and get that canoe to the lake because it I can't do what I did today again. I mean, it's nearly there. I don't have too much farther to go. Hopefully a good night's sleep. Give me some more energy. 
and uh, get that canoe to the lake tomorrow morning. I gotta get up early to beat the heat. I gotta be like gone early because today about killed me. Amazingly, Maisie did really good today. She uh, she was still chasing squirrels on the walk back after we had been at it for over an hour. I was, I was impressed. She she was doing okay considering how hot it was. All right, guys, it's time for fireworks. I just have a few, a few small like fountain ones, but I thought, why not? It's 4th of July, baby. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like that. I think we should move them. Okay, watch out, Lisa. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Last one. This is the biggest one, so we'll see what it does. Okay. Well, they're all kind of the same so far. What? What? That was the big one. That was a complete dud. <laughs> I think it, I think it malfunctioned. That can't be it for that one, but I'm not. Yeah, that, that wasn't right. Anyway, happy 4th of July, woohoo! I think this is more my speed right now. Hey guys, 